Okay, today you're going to learn how to thread a needle. So we need a needle, we need scissors, and we need a spool of thread. So let me show you first the parts of a needle. This is your needle. You've got the top right here, which has the hole in it, and that's called the eye of the needle. So the thread will be going through the eye of the needle. And then down here, we've got the sharp end or the tip. Okay, so when we're cutting a piece of thread to go through that small eye, it's really important that we make sure that the thread that we're getting does not have a lot of fuzz at the tip. Because if it's got fuzz, I don't know if you can see that, it's going to be harder to get through the tip. So we want to make sure it's a nice clean cut. So I'm going to pull my thread out. I'm going to cut that end. And then I'm going to cut the other end. Again, making sure it's nice and clean, it doesn't have all the fuzz at the end. Okay, and then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to insert the thread through the eye. So sometimes it's easier to do that by kind of turning it sideways and just looking from the side to make sure that it's going through that hole, just like I did there. Okay, some people like to wet the tip right here. Um, they lick their fingers and then kind of put it through there. But it's not always necessary as long as you've got that clean clean end it'll go through the eye pretty well so we're going to do that one more time right through the eye then we're going to pull it through and we're going to pull it all the way until we have the ends even here both ends of the thread and then we're going to tie it in a knot at the end here common misconception is that people tie a knot right here so it doesn't come out of the hole that's not what we want to do we want to tie these two pieces together at the very end so it doesn't come through the fabric once we start sewing. So I've got my ends here. I'm going to turn it to a loop, just like that. I'm going to hold the, the loop with one, um, one hand, and I'm going to insert the other two pieces through that loop, just like that. And then I pull, and that's where I'm going to put my knot. See, it's really tiny. You can barely see it. So I usually double knot it and I try my best to get it on the same exact spot because if we double knot it on two different spots, it really doesn't serve its purpose. The reason why you want to knot it is because you don't want that thread coming through the fabric. Okay, so let me show you what the difference would be. So here's our knot. We're going to make our stitch in a piece of fabric right here. I'm going to go through the, this would be the back side of the fabric. And that's where I would want my knot because I don't want my knot to show on the front. It's going to look ugly. So I'm going to pull that through. And see right there, that knot catches it so that my thread doesn't go all the way through the fabric. And then I can just make my stitches. Just like that. And this is called a running stitch.